Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this beautiful exponential math problem which is 16 raised to power 6 minus 16 raised to power 5. So here I will try to solve this problem without using any calculator and without any rough work or standard multiplication. So how can we solve this math problem? Here first of all we can write this first term as 16 raised to power 6. So 6 can be written as the sum of 5 plus 1. Minus this number will be the same, 16 raised to power 5. And in this one number, we will use an exponential identity, r raised to power m plus in identity. So here in this number, we will use this one exponential identity, r raised to power m plus in, which can also be written as r raised to power m times r raised to power n. So using this exponential identity here, this first number, first term will become this will become 16 s to power 5 times 16 s to power 1 minus 16 s to power 5. Now here this 16 s to power 5 is common in both the terms. So we will take out common from both terms. So this will become taking 16 s to power 5 common. Here only 16 s to power 1 is left which is simply 16. So this will become 16 minus and here is only 1. So further we can write the 16 as we can write this as 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So here 2 is 4 times. So we can write this in exponential form as 2 raised to power 4. So here we will replace this 16 with this exponential value. So this will become this is 2 raised to power 4, whole raised to power 5. And this is 16 minus 1 is simply 15. Now here in this one number we will use another exponential identity. R raised to power m whole raised to power in identity. So here in this number we will use this one identity. R raised to power m whole raised to power in which can also be written as R raised to power m times n. So using this identity here we will multiply these two powers. So this will become 2 raised to power. 4 times 5 is simply 20. So this will become 2 raised to power 20 times 15. Here we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 20. So therefore we can write this 2 raised to power 20 as we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 20 here. So 2 raised to power 20, 20 can be written as 10 times 2. Now using this one identity here we will change this number from this one form to this one form. So this will become 2 raised to power 10 whole square. Now what is the value of 2 raised to power 10? 2 raised to power 10 means we have to multiply 2 10 times. So multiply 2 10 times it gives him a very famous number 1024 whole square. Now here we can write this 1024 whole square as this can be written as the sum of 1000 plus 24 whole square. Now here we will use an algebraic identity a plus b whole square identity which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. So using that identity here we can write this number as this will become a square so a is 1000 this will become 1000 square plus b square b is 24 so this will become 24 square plus 2 times ab now a is 1000 and b is 24 this will become 24. Let's simplify these numbers in the right hand side. So what is the value of 1000 square? The value of 1000 square is simply 1 million. So this is 1 million plus the value of 24 square is about 576. Plus and this goes same 2 times 24 is 48. 48 times 1000 is it is 48,000. Now here we will add these three numbers. So this will become zeros plus 576 plus three zeros gives him 576 comma next is 8 plus 0 is 8 4 0 and 1 so here the addition of these numbers gives him 1 million 48576 so here we will replace this number with this one value so this will become 2 raised to power 20. The value of 2 raised to power 20 is 
one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six times fifteen. We can write this fifteen as the sum of ten plus five. This is because if you want to multiply this number with fifteen directly, so it will be difficult. No, the multiplication of this number with ten and five is very easier. So that's why we multiply now this number with ten and then five. So next we can write this as this number times one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six. First we multiply this number with ten. This will become times ten plus we multiply this number with five. So one million forty-eight thousand five hundred seventy-six times five. Now multiply these numbers with each other and then we will add the results. So let's multiply these numbers. So here this number times zero is zero and this number times one is only this one number. So we'll write this number here. Six seven five eight four comma ten. So here the product of these two numbers gives him ten million four hundred eighty-five thousand seven hundred and sixty. Plus now let's multiply these two numbers. So again we will start from the ones position. 5 times 6 is 30, so this will become 0, 3 will be carried, 5 times 7 is 35, 35 plus 3 is 38, so this will become 8, 3 will be carried, 5 times 5 is 25, 25 plus 3 is 28, so this will become 8, 2 will be carried, 5 times 8 is 40, 40 plus 2 is 42, so 2, 4 will be carried, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 plus 4 is 24, so 4, 2 will be carried, 5 times 0 is 0, 0 plus 2 is simply 2, Come 5 times 1 is 5. So here the product of these two numbers gives him 5,242,880. Now finally we will add these two numbers. So that will be our final answer. Now to add these two numbers, again we will start from the 1's position. First we will add the digits at 1's position, the 10's position, the 100's position, the 1000 and so on. So here 0 plus 0 is simply 0. 8 plus 6 is 14. So this will become 4. When we carry to the next digit, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16, so this will become 6, when we carry to next digit, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, so this will become 8, now next is 4, so 4 plus 8 is 12, so this will become 2, when we carry to next digit, next is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, comma, next is 5, so 5 plus 0 is simply 5, and this is 1. So here the addition of these two numbers gives him 15,728,640. So finally, 15,728,640 is our answer and value of this interesting and beautiful exponential math problem. Now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step by step math videos thanks for watching